Yeah. All right. Let's begin 8.2. Now that you've seen the derivation of the surface area of a function revolved about an axis, let's see our first example. So we have find the area of the surface generated by revolving the curve y is equal 2 times the square root of x with our x trap between 1 and 2 about the x-axis. So why don't we first uh, look and see what our formula we're going to use. I believe it's going to be just like this. So let's start putting it all together. First, I'd like to just define all the variables. What's A? What's B? I think A is going to be 1. Our B is going to be 2. Our Y is equal to 2 times the square root of X. But we're also going to need a dy dx. So let's get that as well. When you take this derivative, you end up with 1 over the square root of X. Well, shoot, we defined everything. We know where it goes. Now it's just time for us to use our badass integration skills. So let's get it. This is equal to the integral of, well, we're going from a to b, so 1 to 2, up 2 pi, times our y, and our y, of course we're not going to use y, we're going to use what it's equal to, 2 times the square root of x. Now we can multiply it by the square root of 1 plus our derivative on y with respect to x, all squared, and that's, oh, it's just 1 over root x. Cool. Well, let's clean this up. Let's put the 2 and the 2 together, maybe yank the pi out to the front, and leave us with 4 pi. After all, from 1 to 2. This leaves us with the square root of x times 1 plus and 1 over root x. That's just 1 over x dx. Hmm. Now this one looks a little bit tricky. We might want to manipulate the radicand underneath our second root. So let's see what we can do with this. I think there will be a cool way we can make this all pop out. So let's say we got 4 pi from 1 to 2. Let's leave our root x alone. But let's create a common denominator under here. Let's put this together. So x over x plus 1 over x. Continue going. And then, what's this? This is the square root of x plus 1 over x dx. Oh, shoot, there's the square root of x. We can get those to cancel. Let's take it just one more step, and I think you'll see what I mean. We get our root x times the square root of x plus 1 over the square root of x dx. Oh, there it is. That one was tricky. Hiya, hiya, and they go away. Now we are left with the integral of 4 pi times 1 to 2, the square root of x plus 1, dx. One more step. Let's make it easy for us to see. And let's integrate. 4 pi times our 1 half, we're going to add 1 to it, so we get x plus 1 to the 3 halves power, and then we're going to multiply by the reciprocal of that thing. There we go. So we get 8 pi over 3 times 2 plus 1 to the 3 halves power, 1 plus 1 to the 3 halves power. And I don't think that's going to clean up much more than that. So let's stop at 8 pi over 3 times 3 root 3 minus 2 root 2. And I think that might be the solution. 